Okay, pals, welcome back to our comprehensive look at the Star Wars Power of the Force uh, toy line from the 1990s. Uh, we're uh, transitioning now into the green card uh, portion of Power of the Force. We divide it into red card, which was the first uh, few waves, 1995, and the green card, which is simply, that simply means that the color of Darth Vader's lightsaber on the packaging changes from red to green from 1996 all the way to 99 and uh, that's really the only difference between the the packaging uh, there's some uh, there's you know, the shadows of the empire has purple in it rather than green or red that's an anomaly i think expanded universe also has green cards we'll have to confirm that in the future but uh the wave numbering begins anew so we're we're looking at wave one uh the next few videos from the green card series 1996 okay now that we had to skip a few red card items because i have not uh, procured them yet, like the Rebel Snow Speeder and those three deluxe figures from the 95, which I really don't plan on uh, collecting unless that they happen to be included in a lot of figures I pick up in the future. And the two play sets, the um, Death Star Escape and the Detention Block, I haven't found those at a reasonable price just yet. And there's a couple of C-3PO carrying cases as well. I'm not interested in those. But uh, we've pretty much looked at all the figures from the uh, red card series. So now let's move on to the to wave one of the green card series, and we'll start with the 21B medical droid. And you'll recognize this chappie from the Empire Strikes Back near the very beginning and at the very end. In each case, the droid is uh, ministering to Luke Skywalker, who's fallen either in battle or patrol, either to the Wampa or to Darth Vader. And uh, the 21B is instrumental in Luke's convalescence. He uh, affixes his new robot hand at the end of The Empire Strikes Back. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen one of the greatest films ever made. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there was a 21B in the original Kenner Star Wars line. Probably not the same mold, probably not the same figure, but uh, I'm almost positive there was now that I think about it. I think uh, the uh, coloration on the vintage 21B was much more blue than this one. It's, this is still blue. It's more of a, a steel blue. And very subtle against the uh, silver or gray and, and the black highlights on the figure. Now, as far as sculpting goes, pretty darn good. Uh, this looks just like 2-1-B from the uh, film. Uh, I really like this translucent chest cavity where you can sort of see the inner workings of the droid on the inside. That's really cool. I think, if, I'm pretty sure there was a 2-1-B in the Kenner line, and I think it had the same sort of uh, tr uh, translucent or at least opaque uh, chest like this. Uh, now, as far as paint applications, uh, well, up until just a few moments ago, I thought it was pretty nice on this figure, uh, but then I noticed that there's a rogue splotch of paint on the back of this one. Now, uh, this was sealed in package, so this happened at the factory, and that's unfortunate. We see this all the time with those WWE wrestling figures. Uh, I'm a little surprised to see this on a, a Star Wars figure, but then again, it, this is Hasbro we're talking about here. Now, I know uh, it says Kenner on the packaging back in uh, 95, 96, and throughout the 90s, but uh, Tonka had bought Kenner, and Hasbro had bought Tonka. I think I explained that properly. Yeah, so Hasbro owned Kenner at this point. So, yeah, this tracks. This is some Hasbro stupidity right there. And, uh, well, I, uh, I didn't pay a lot for this. I paid less than five bucks for it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to demand my money back for, for on a 30-year, nearly a 30-year-old toy just because of that. I might explore uh, uh, maybe a, a Clorox wipe to try to get that off. I'm not going to try to use fingernail polish remover. Acetone is actually bad for older plastic. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of using that. Now, so as a display piece, not bad at all. You know, it looks very much like the character in the films. However. Uh, as far as a toy, well, it's only got three points of articulation. The legs don't move at all, okay? Uh, it moves here at the head, and it is cool that the uh, uh, the hose from the vocabulator into the chest is flexible enough to allow you to turn the head, and it moves at the shoulders. So, technically, it is an action figure. It's just not, it's 3 POA rather than 5 or 6 POA like these other... Uh, Star Wars figures. It does come with an accessory. It's not a weapon. It's a little medical device, and they had to put a handle on it so that he could actually hold it with his 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 pincer claw hands. I remember, it is a robot, and uh, well, that's it's it's okay, pals. It's it's uh, it's a welcome addition to the, any Star Wars uh, toy line, and certainly any Star Wars collection. Uh, just doesn't have as many 
action features, perhaps not as much play value as some of these other figures, but it's okay. I'm a little disappointed over the sloppy paint applications on it, but uh, that happened in a factory in the Far East nearly 30 years ago, so, you know, what can you do? Uh, I hope we don't see more of this in the future, but, you know, we shouldn't discount it. Uh, but, you know, it's the 2-1-B medical droid. There was only one other medical droid released in the vintage Kenner line, the FX-7. I don't think that droid makes an appearance in Power of the Force. However, I think they eventually do release FX-7 in the uh, Power of the Jedi toy line, which pre or, uh, supersedes Power of the Force. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to collect Power of the Jedi or not. Uh, they don't seem to be as reasonably priced as Power of the Force figures. We'll see. We'll see if I can find a huge lot of them at a, at a discount price. We'll just have to see. But there you go, pals. This is easily available for under 5 bucks. If you're paying more than $5 for these Power of the Force figures, you're doing it wrong. And there's a lot of scalpers out there that really overvalue these, but, you know, there were millions of these made. And then you get things like this going that you won't even know about until you take them out of the package. Uh, yeah, five bucks or less, pals. Don't, don't, don't let yourself be ripped off. And, uh, but there you go, pals. That's the 2-1-B medical droid. Stay tuned next time. We'll look at another Wave 1 um, Power of the Force figure from Memory Serves. I believe we'll be looking at an ATST driver. So until then, may the Force be with you. And I'll talk to you again real soon.